Soete omnes. In this video, I will be translating the story Circe. So the first one is an ablet of absolute. With Sicily having been left behind, Ulysses sailed to the kingdom of King Aeolus, or of Aeolus, king of the winds. So that's a, a positive there. Who, going back to Aeolus, who gave, came through the verb, gave dative, this is third, Ulysses' is third declension, so gave to Ulysses bad winds, participle going back all the way here to bad winds, having been tied in a sack. It's a tough sentence. Next one. Another apple of absolutes. With the bad winds having been tied, you will no longer, nanyam, no longer be hindered, impeded, and you will find uh, safety, health in your fatherland. And so, for many days, the Greeks uh, sailed without impediment, without hindrance, and without concern, worry, or care. And they were driven, this is an ablative agent, by one friendly wind, and this is another ablative absolute, with the remaining having been tied. They could see, they could make out, they could discern, uh, so they now could discern, see Ithaca clearly, adverb right here. But the sailors were afflicted uh, with concern about the, about the sack because, or, uh, because they heard nothing uh, about, so they heard nothing about the winds which, relative pronoun, which were in the sack. A sailor said, there is rewards there and money in the sack. King Ulysses ought to give, infinitive, to give to the sailors uh, who endured many bad things, or ought to give money to the sailors who endured many bad things. And so, another apple of absolute, with the sack having been open, the winds, participle, having been set free, drove the Greeks back to the kingdom of Aeolus. But Aeolus no longer gives aid. The Greeks now have one ship, another avital absolute, with the remaining having been lost. Now, with the baggage having been left behind, ablet of absolute, they came to an island which the beautiful Circe was ruling. Twenty men, and this is a participle going back here, were sent by Ulysses to the queen. They sought, they asked for peace and protection, genitive of the laws. Remember, third declension, genitive plural of the law. So let's find our verb here. Uh, they sent, they were led by Eurolochus by the general Eulogus, goes with this, through the forest by means of foot. 
to the queen who turned them into animals. Eurylochus alone not turned, again another participle, into an animal, fled, ran away to the ship, and he announced, reported everything to Ulysses, another data for the third declension, about the allies having been impeded, hindered, another participle. Ulysses, having been moved thoroughly, another participle, hasten to give aid with, I think this is a typo, should be an S here, with the rest of the men having been pressed. So giving aid to the allies, oh, so gave aid, Ulysses having been moved, this is a tough sentence, hasten to give aid to the men, dative, having been pressed with the remaining, or with the allies having been pressed with the remaining men. In the street, or on the way probably, uh, he consulted the god Mercury, having been seen, another participle, Mercury warned him and gave to him an herb. This herb, he said, or with this herb, ablative here, sorry, with this herb, you will be able to set free and to your soldiers and you will be able to save your life. Ulysses ordered the queen to turn the allies into men. Circe, having been terrified, another participle goes over here, having been terrified by the words and deeds of Ulysses turned the animals into men. The queen, who was no longer an enemy or no longer unfriendly, prepared a great dinner and also good food. So, he led back, he led back harmony and friendship. With Abel of Absolute, with the allies having been set free for one, for a year, Ulysses remained there. He, idiom, he lived a pleasing life. Then he, having been influenced, participle, this is a subject, by the allies, departed. And that was a tough one, so I hope you found that helpful. Olete omnes.